Okay, hi everybody. Welcome back to London Smiling. Um, today I'm with the fabulous Louise. Wave. Hi. <laughs> Smile on demand. Um, and basically what I'm going to be doing today is uh, making a crown for her. Well, actually, I'm not going to do a crown. I'm going to do an onlay. Maybe in another video, I'll describe the difference between the two because I think that might be quite interesting. So Louise has basically had root canal treatment. And what that means is that the nerve of the tooth died. To save the tooth, two options is either to extract the tooth, which as you know, is a no-no, certainly in my world anyway, and thankfully in your world yeah, too. No way. <laughs> way. We only have a certain number of teeth. We want to look after them and save them where we can. And so she went to see a root canal specialist, that's called an endodontist, who cleaned out the middle of the tooth. So if you have a look here, what we've done is that all the areas in white is where the nerve, this is the very difficult one where the tooth kind of the root curved around. So he's done an excellent job. And now literally what's left of tooth on top is this little section here and here. All of this is filling material. So when you've had the nerve taken out of the tooth, which is kind of like, it's like your bone marrow. So it's the living um, life bit that's got the blood vessels and nerves, etc. The tooth tends to become more and more brittle with time. So if you leave it, it will often break and snap, and then you end up losing the tooth anyway. So that's why usually we say within three months of having um, a root filling done, you should have a cast restoration, something made by the lab, and that's usually an onlay or crown or something. So that's what we're going to do today. So even though she's had the nerve taken out of the tooth, all the soft tissues, um, the, her gum is still alive and kicking. So we are going to pop a little bit of anaesthetic in. And then I'm going to take a mould of the teeth that I'm going to use to make a temporary. And then a wee bit of drilling to shape the teeth. And then we're done. Okay, so let's pop some numbing gel on her gum. Okay. Let's pop on that. It was so relaxed. I had to have a feeling the other day. I was just like, ah. <laughs> and, he's, and he's like, now I broke the tooth. And he's like, can you please have sedation next time? <laughs> and stress the poor man out so much. Is that why you went into dentistry? Because you were yeah. so nervous. Yeah, I mean, everybody thinks it's hilarious that I'm a phobic and yeah. I do the thing. But I think it makes me better. Um, so there's nothing you can do. Bite the finger, cry, clamp the, that I haven't done myself. But um, even though the head knows, it's just I sit in here and I become this quivering wreck. It's, I can't help it. But I have so much trust in you. Oh, have you fine. got that on film? <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. Didn't pay me to <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so let's pop this here. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of the gel there. So what's going to happen is that basically we're going to mix some impression material. So I feel like a mouthful of plasticine that will just use, that will give me um, a template to be able to make the temporary for you. Okay, you ready for me? So if you open a bit wider for me, you just feel a bit of pressure. Just going to pop that in and squeeze, bite together. Squeeze, 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 right up. Perfect. And just keep biting while that sets. Wonderful. Well done. Right, it's just checking, so it's all set. So if you open for me, I'm just going to pop that out so we can see that. So I use this so that I make sure that she's biting okay. And this gives us a negative view of the teeth. So number six, number seven, number eight. So we're working on that one. And when we come to do the temporary, now you're asking about how, I'm going to just inject something in there and then I pop it back in and then we create a temp on there for you. So that's all good. You need to top up your lightning. Mm, do. Definitely. <laughs> Just to have trays, or do I need to yeah. make some no, more for you? Yeah. Okay. Toss up a little bit more here. Can you feel that at all? No. So what I'm doing is just matching up what colour we're going to go for. So we're going to whiten a little bit, so I'm going to make it probably a little bit lighter. So this is A1, 
where you can see it's brighter than her teeth are now. But I think with some whitening we'll get onto that, so that should be cool. To create room for the porcelain, which is going to kind of cover the whole surface of the tooth, I'm going to be removing about two millimetres of the enamel, which I'm just going to show you here. And where there's that dark area, which um, I think there's decay, I'll go into it so that basically the new the onlay, the difference is that it will be porcelain here, so all this bit that's dark. Whereas if we were going to do a crown, it would come all the way to the end. So I'd be removing all this excess, which I don't want to. So this way means we stay really nice and conservative. So let's go for it. So I'm just going to mark this first. Okay. So we finished drilling and what I'm doing here is just pushing in, this is called retraction cord and what it does is it just pushes the gum out of the way so when I take the mould of the tooth the gum doesn't cover up the tooth. Meanwhile my nurse is going to start mixing the impression material so it's a different material to the one we used at the beginning. This one's more accurate. It's a rubber material. So I'm going to syringe around the tooth here. Just give us a nice accurate. And I'm going to pop a little bit in the material on the tray. Okay, just relax for me. I'm just going to position this here back together. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze all the way up, 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 perfect. That's going to set in for three minutes. And then after three minutes, I'm going to pop this off. No, no, keep biting, bite, bite, bite. <laughs> Don't open. And because my technician uses a microscope, so this is going to set in three minutes. Then I'm going to take a second one with a different material, and then we can make the temporary. So in six minutes, we'll be able to make the temporary for you. Okay, pop out. That's fine, you can take everything out. Marvellous. And timer on, relax, and back together again. Bite, 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 fantastic. That's all done. Then after three minutes, we're just gonna put the temporary on and then we are complete. This bit feels as though pulling your teeth out as you can feel there. <laughs> so we're gonna take that off. So nice, so we've got the imprint, do you want to see there? So that's what it looks yeah. like now. Open for me. Just going to pop this in because this is what we're going to use to... Okay. Like here. Okay, it's fine. Keep nice and open. Just going to pop that there. And we are going to use this now. So that mould that we took at the beginning of this tooth here. So now what I'm going to do is that's the kind of like, it's like liquid acrylic. And I'm just going to fill this with it. And I'm just going to take away, pop this in. Like so, do you have flowable ready out for me? Bite together, that's lovely, and just keep together. 
And so it's good, starts as a liquid, so I'm just gonna keep an eye on here when it's set on my hand. Then I know it's time to take it out. So you can see it was liquid before, but it's now set, so it's quite hard there. So that means I can come open for me and pop this out. So this is the real tooth there. That's the temporary. So I've just done it so that it just blends in. So you shouldn't be able to really see the difference between the two. And voila, there we have it. Okay, just gonna set you up. And if you wanna have a wee rinse. Okay, so everybody, hope you had fun. <laughs> Uh, peeping into my world and um, if you've got any questions um, about the whole process or indeed anything to do with dentistry and teeth just pop your comments below and see you next time bye